Cleophas Malala was once working under Mdavadi's administration. Mdavadi was once Cleophas Malala's boss, but now they are working under the same government, Kenya Kwanza government, where Mdavadi is the prime cabinet secretary, Cleophas Malala is the UDA Secretarial General. I'm shocked yesterday I've been silenced enough following the ODM party movement. I want us to watch on these two videos I'm displaying to you ladies and gentlemen on the screen. Then after that we want to carry on with the analysis why Raila Amolo Dinga's life is in danger when it's come to political strength of gaining. Abruptly or apparently he might stand to vie for the presidential race 2027. And how will this affect him after he have made an ugly picture or move to expel Jalas and the rest in his ODM party. Let's look at these two videos ladies and gentlemen. much publicized dalliance with President William Ruto at a time when Azimio leader Raila Odinga was in the thick of an onslaught against the government leading to a series of anti-government demos. Uriri's Mark Nyamita and Rongo constituency's Paul Abuor have escaped expulsion and are instead required to pay a fine of 1 million shillings each within 60 days and draft an apology letter within seven days. Also, Nairobi woman representative Esther Pasaris, who defied the party's position on the finance bill of 2023, will now part with a fine of 250,000 shillings while also being required to write an apology within seven days. Equally, four nominated MCAs from Kisumu County are now staring at life in the cold after their nominations were revoked. The four, Caroline Opar, Kennedy Ajuang, Regina Kizito, and Peter Obaso are accused of defying the party's choice for Speaker of the County Assembly of Kisumu, Jack Oraro, and instead supported Samuel Ongo. The National Executive Co Committee recommended the revocation of nomination of four members of the County Assembly of Kisumu for gross misconduct. On the part of the legislators, should the party move to strike them from the register? The Office of the Register of Political Parties will have to be notified. Speakers of both houses will then be notified of the decision later so as to make an official communication to the houses. The decision by both speakers is one to watch as both speakers... That was Jalas carrying volume 35 when Oru emerged the victory and they did not accept during... Uh, 2017 general election. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back again to our YouTube channel. Personally, I'm doing great as you can see. I believe that this video is going to find so well. Consider to like the video, share and subscribe if you've never subscribed to Zion Kenya TV and also watch the video as you drop your opinion 
at the comment section below. From the two videos, we are seeing differences. The last who have been expelled from ODM party was once working with zeal and zest while in the party and uh, having a dream in the party. But now what have happened to him? We are seeing in the second video that in that video he have made a mistake by greeting President William Samoy Ruto. So the ODM people or party saw it as an a betrayal in their party. Again, they don't as they don't want to listen to themselves and ask themselves this question: Why is Kalonzo never expelled his party members? Why is Mnavadi never expelled his party members? This is only happened in Nyanza. Let's speak the reality: where the ODM is the church to be praised, is a church is like a church where we give sacrifice, we offer, and then if we live to do that, then you are being removed. Let us go back to analysis of today. In those two pictures, I think you are not a visitor, you are not living in the Pluto, but you are living in Kenya, with birth or by birth, but it's always very essential in someone's life to follow the politics of today. I think my brother Raila have lost direction on, according to John Badi's advice, Badi is taking Raila to a very wrong direction. I know this might hurt the ODM diehards. With me, as I began this Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel, I said I won't support any party, be it UDA, be it Azimio, I want. My work is to analyze and tell Kenyans what is happening in the ground. Today I'm officially doing the ODM analysis party. The movement that John Bader have begins by removing the Langata MP Tom Ojenda and the rest in ODM party is a clear reflection that these people are bitter with these people when they greeted William Samuel Ruto in the state house. It is like the husband and wife are friends to the another husband and wife. Then the opposite gender greet each other. So the same opposite gender are getting annoyed <laughs> because of greeting and raising a complaint that they have slept together. That is what ODM have narrated to young juvenile politicians. The reasons why I'm saying ODM party, mark my words, when it's come to 2027 general election, God willing, is going not to be popular, is not going to be popular, sorry, in Nyanza region. One, they have shown uh, that they don't have ambition in accepting the mistake of the party members. Number two, that expert indicates that these people love themselves. Number three, it indicates that they don't want development. Number four, it indicates that these people are always after Raila's failure. I don't think if Raila had that uh, that uh, dream or that aim to expel his members. I have worked with Pasaris. I have worked with even the just well, two weeks ago, three weeks, they were spotted with Jalas celebrating, I don't know, some MP's uh, son but, uh, birthday party. So that one can tell you that it is only the cartels which, who surround the ODM party are the ones making Raila to be uh, annoyed on the MPs movement and the governors. Greeting president in the state house does not mean you betray. Well, every party have a constitutional right to be followed. I don't disagree with that. But 
How can you just come out seeing me, greeting someone, laughing with someone, accepting someone? Just yesterday, we saw Rigadi Gashagwa greeting Raila. Why don't UDA expel Rigadi Gashagwa? Just the other day, we saw Raila greeting President William Samuel Ruto. Why don't ODM expel Raila Amul Odinga? Now, why are they expelling the juvenile politicians? Even if they they spoken wrong on the ODM party, but that one should not mix the party to an extent of terminating the contract of both Jalas and the rest. I think that is not the best move. And this is how it is going to end the ODM party. As they do that, they are gaining ground to UDA party. These people are getting room to influence uh, those who have been expelled from the party. If I may ask, the others have been expelled. Uh, Tom Ojenda have been expelled, plus I don't want to mention all of their names, but a good example, ladies and gentlemen. Where will Jalas go for? That is the question we should rush to answer or ask ourselves. The same way to Ojenda. Obvious UDA direct. And after that, then they will complain that Ruta have stolen election. So the, those who always surround Raila are the ones who don't, who bring great intimidation and making the former Prime Minister to fail always. So in that analysis, it's all well illustrated that why Raila have been failing is not all about IBC. It is all a, about these people who surround him. They are the ones who sometimes discourage the ODM diets and the Azimio coalition diets on how they treat the party members. What can you say, ladies and gentlemen? Will I be right from that analysis to say that Raila's life is in danger in politics? And as they do that, the UDA is now gaining ground. You will never hear in a single day Oparanya is expelling, uh, is trying to expel Cleophas Malala. In fact, Cleophas Malala is the one now demanding, uh, sorry, Mudavadi, yeah? Mudavadi to <laughs> join UDA. What of Central Kenya? Have we ever had any stories? This is only happening in Nyanza. So my brothers from Nyanza and sisters, let us not be deceived by this political blindness. Let us stay awake from, may you stay awake from your slumbers and note that for you to have a future president, you must avoid these behaviors. Political of bitterness, political of deception, political of hypocrisy, political of undevelopment. That will not act as you think. But the truth is that the wrong, that is the wrong direction you begin. You won't end it easily. That is my advice today to the ODM party. I know this will hurt. It is upon you. With me, I was just doing my analysis. You have a freedom of speech to react at the comment section below. But I'm eagerly waiting for your comment of desires to improve on the ODM administration characters. My name is Charles and I want to wish you all the best. For now, that is what I had to share with you. Consider to watch this video, share the channel and also drop your opinion at the comment section below. But if you've never again subscribed to Zion Kenya TV, please consider to subscribe the channel. In that next time, when we upload you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. Bye-bye, and I want to wish you all the best and a peaceful evening.